I have been looking for something like this for months on Amazon and everywhere, couldn't find anything. I go to TJ Maxx and happen to find it. But you stop in the middle of a moment, can't crawl out. doing a different video today. Um, Y'all may be able to tell this is a new this is a new area that I'm in here. Um, I officially am now living in Florida here in Jacksonville. So yeah, but Little Bit's enjoying it. She likes having this huge bed up here to sleep on because it's much bigger than the old one. But yeah, so we are gonna do a haul today. I went to TJ Maxx and picked up a couple things that we needed and I saw some extra things that we may have not necessarily needed but I saw and wanted to get. <laughs> so yeah, but here we go and here's the new gear haul in the new Florida bedroom. <laughs> okay, so here I have the bag. I'm just going to kind of pull things out one at a time. So the first thing I got, um, she loves like jerky kind of treats, like beef jerky, chicken jerky kind of dog treats. So I got her these Bark Worthies um, chicken jerky treats and she has not had these specifically yet but I know that she likes the chicken jerky so I'm sure she will like them. But do you want to try it? If I can figure out how it opens. Ooh, I think she's interested already. I haven't even gotten it open. Okay, there we go. Ooh, they smell. They actually smell really good. So this is the treat. So it looks like that. It's like a chicken jerky kind of treat. But I'm not going to give you a whole piece. You can have a little bite. There you go. But I like Barkworthy's. Um, the store that I actually used to work at, the pet store, um, sold a lot of Barkworthy's products and she used to love them when I'd bring them home for her. So I think she likes it. The other thing I got, which I've been meaning to get for her, are these pet wipes. These are just the Animal Planet Pets pet wipes. Um, so they're like this. And I'm getting a phone call. Um, it can wait. But, so it's like this and it's got lemon grass in it and it says that it's a natural antifungal, insect repellent, and deodorizing. And there's 72 wipes in here, so hopefully they work for her and I don't have to throw a bunch away. <laughs> but that's that. I wonder what they smell like. I apologize, my phone is ringing off the hook. Okay. Oh good, it's not open or anything. Ooh. They smell like lemongrass. I'm gonna use one of those later. But yeah, so I got those for her to use because when I'm here, I it's gonna be really hot and I know that she's, we have a lot more grassy and dirt area outside for her to run around. So I wanted to get these so that after we go outside or even before we go outside for the bug repellent side of it, I can put it on her because being in Virginia during the winter, we didn't really have to worry as much about ticks, mosquitoes, and stuff like that. Here in Florida, we live right by a pond, and there's a lot of grass, a lot of moisture, a lot of dirt, so we do have to worry a little bit about ticks and mosquitoes. And she is on a monthly um, flea and tick repellent, and she's also on heartworm. Um, but this will just help to kind of keep her clean and um, in between like her baths that she gets normally about every two weeks. The other thing I got, I've been meaning to get one of these, um, but I got her these, one of the gulpy water dispensers. So it's one of the ones that 
you fill the water up and it sits in here and then it folds up like this and you squeeze the water out and then if there's extra water you can get it back into the bottle which is really nice but yeah so I got one of those I need to figure out how this unscrews oh like that okay that makes a whole lot more sense and this is the, for anyone who's curious, this is the brand New Angle Gulpy Pet Water Dispenser. Um, and of course it's in our lime green color, our favorite. Um, but this is gonna be used um, when we go to Disney the end of the month, which don't worry everyone, I will make another vlog while we're at Disney. Um, I hope that's in right, I think it is. But yeah, so I'm just gonna, um, I have a bunch of little, the carabiner clips or carabiner, whatever, I know people call them different things. Um, I'm gonna clip it just into the hole here and then clip it onto my backpack. Um, Cause I don't wanna put it in my bag in case it does leak. Um, it also has a little, I don't know if I'd completely trust it, it's kind of flimsy, but it's got like a clip that you can hook it, I guess, like on your pants maybe. That's really bulky though. <laughs> And if it's full of water, that'd be real. I would pull my pants down. So, yeah. So there's that that we got. I have been looking for something like this for months on Amazon and everywhere. Couldn't find anything. I go to TJ Maxx and happen to find it. I've been looking for a leash that is limeish green that would match some of her gear for when I don't want to use her yup leash when it's like raining or where it could possibly get ruined or dirty or anything like that. So I found this lovely little four foot leash. It's lime green and got little cactuses on it, but it's really cute and it's dog leash cactus. It's by, I don't know who it's by, or Whimsy, it's by Whimsy. I was gonna say they like covered it with the price so I couldn't see what it was. Um, but it's a, 70, um, a 0.75 inch wide and 48 inch long leash that has little cacti on it. The last thing we got is something else I've been desperately looking for to try to get her because of the way she sheds. She needs to be brushed constantly. I finally found a Furminator brush for her and it is perfect. It's for dogs 25 to 50 pounds and it was the only one they had that wasn't for cats. So the Furminator is really nice. It's a de-shedding for short fur so it's got the little um prongs and stuff here to get under and get the under the undercoat and everything like that and it's kind of hard to see with the plastic on but it's got like a little thing down here that if you push on this it pushes it to empty the fur off of it so happy with that altogether it was about thirty dollars for everything which really isn't bad for the stuff that I got but really happy and I hope that it's all gonna go, I know it's all gonna go to good use. What am I saying hopefully for? I don't know, what am I saying hopefully for? I, I don't know, I really, I don't know. But yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. I know it's not a huge haul. I know some people go to like TJ Maxx, PetSmart, Petco, stuff like that and come back with like bags full of stuff, but I just can't do that currently. <laughs> so maybe in the future, but for now that's the TJ Maxx haul that I have. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all have a great week and I will be back with a new video next week. Bye guys!